So we have some basic data here. And there's a research question as well. You'll see it noted there. I'll highlight it for us. Is there an association between stature and mass? So that's our research question. In the blue box, there's a set of instructions for us to follow. Okay, so first of all, it asks us to calculate the descriptive statistics and eyeball the data. Now, you're always encouraged to calculate descriptive statistics for all of the data you collect. Second, decide whether we're looking for differences or relationships. Now, based on the research question above, that should hopefully be obvious to you. The third step is checking the normality of the data. And then fourth, deciding on an appropriate test. Now, remember in the previous screencast, I suggested that we must have normally distributed data if we want to use a parametric test. So first of all, I'm going to focus on step three, checking the normality of your data set. So I've got my stature and mass data here already loaded into SPSS. To check the normality of it, all I need to do is click on Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Explore. I've already got the dependent variables that I want to explore in this dependent list, so I want to see if stature and mass data is normally distributed. If I click on the statistics there, it gives me the confidence interval, which should always be set at 95%. That essentially means that we're 95% confident that the values that SPSS gives us are accurate and correct. If we then go to plots, we can look at some descriptive plots such as stem and leaves or histograms but I'm not going to bother with any of those all I really want to know is the normality of my data so I'm going to make sure that normality plots with tests is clicked then click continue and then click OK SPSS will tell me whether my data is normally distributed so SPSS always gives us a lot of information when we run a stats test but most of the time, the actual information we need is very, very minimal. So if we scroll down this output sheet to the tests of normality, we've got two tests of normality that SPSS has run for us. The first one is the kolmogorov smirnov test. And the second one is the Shapiro-Wilk test. In order to know whether our data is normally distributed or not, we need to look at the significance columns for both tests. Now, essentially, if our significance values are less than 0.05, then our data is not normally distributed. However, in this case, for both stature and mass on the kolmogorov smirnov test, our significance values are greater than 0.05. So we can confidently assume that our data is normally distributed. Again, if we look at the same stats on the Shapiro-Wilk test, Looking at the significance values again, both of these values for stature and mass are greater than 0.05. So we know, we can confidently assume that our data for stature and mass, in this case, is normally distributed. Therefore, we can confidently select a parametric statistical test. And that's the next step that we're going to take in the next screencast. There you go. That's how to check your data is normally distributed.